Once you've achieved the look that you want through your lighting and through color correction or gels, one of the last areas of manipulation that a lot of people don't even think about is filtration, and which means glass filters at the lens. And what you can do with filtration is actually change the mood or the feel of the piece, and that becomes even more significant with videotape, because video is an electronic process, and it can be so so unforgiving and so you are there that it's hard to give a feel or a mood to a piece especially on videotape so there are diffusion filters and filters to add a little warmth to the image or cool down the image there's lots of different filters that you can be actually change the feel of the piece you're working on now there are also a wide range of filters that not only change the color but they're called graduated filters so it may be a, a, a cool blue at the top and it graduates to clear or a neutral density two stops of neutral density and it graduates to clear and when you start to get into graduated filters everything kind of it's your last real area of manipulation because you can knock down an area of brightness or add a sunset to a sky that is just gray clouds or bring a little more blue into the color of the water there's so many different ways you can manipulate an image with filters and graduated filters now once you've decided to get into filters if you're going to get used to, say, a diffusion filter or a warming filter, that could indeed be a round filter, and you could screw that under the front of your lens. Now, if you need to add other filters and you start stacking them, that can start to get a little cumbersome, and you can even vignette your image. You can see the dark edges of those filters when you pull out wide with your lens. What you want to get into when you start getting serious about filters is called a matte box. And a matte box is basically a glorified lens shade, and it's there to hold your filters up to three different filters. And it also is there to help control some of the spill light on the set or wherever you're working and keeping that light off the front of your lens. If a lot of light strikes the front of your lens, it ends up raising your black levels, and so your contrast shifts a little and you don't get the rich, saturated blacks you might be looking for. But more importantly than that, once you get into graduated filters, and I let's say there's a horizon line that's that's a third of the way up from the bottom well if I have a round filter that's a graduated filter all I can do is spin it around and that graduated edge stays right in the middle so when you get into square and rectangular filters you can manipulate and shift exactly where you want that graduated edge to bring a sunset color or to to knock an area down in brightness all these different ways you can manipulate the image just through filtration so I think once you get the lighting side of things down, filtration is another very important area that, you, that can really significantly change your imagery. The Tiffin Filter Flex Matte Box is a fully adjustable, lightweight matte box system for film or video production. It can accommodate up to three filter stages, and each filter can independently rotate 360 degrees. The Filter Flex can work with either internal or external focusing lenses. There are an enormous variety of camera filters available. As we have seen, the color correction of an image can occur through lighting and also at the lens. There are two standard correction filters available for correcting film stocks toward the tungsten or daylight color balance. If you need to capture a tungsten balance shot with a daylight film stock, you can use a number 80A filter to correct the warm color of the tungsten lighting for the daylight balanced film. If you need to capture a daylight image with a tungsten balanced film stock, a number 85B filter will correct the cool color of the daylight for the tungsten balanced stock. As with the use of gels, both filters create some level of light loss that must be factored into your exposure, and there are numerous grades of each filter available to produce different levels of correction. The Tiffin 812 filter is a very light grade of warming filter. This filter was designed to improve skin tones, and to add just a bit of warmth to the overall scene. Halshevnikov uses this filter often for interviews and for other types of interior and exterior scenes as well. Some of the most popular filters used are diffusion filters. There are a wide variety of diffusion filters available, but there are a few that Bill Halshevnikov uses most often for all types of production footage. For people shots, the Tiffin Pro Mist, Black Pro Mist, and the soft FX filters are a popular choice. Using the ProMist filter diffuses or reduces the sharpness of the image slightly, while also reducing the contrast in the image. This filter is available in varying levels of diffusion, and Halshevnikov also likes the look of this filter for food shots. The black ProMist provides a similar diffusion effect as the ProMist, but the reduction in contrast is less obvious. A one-half black ProMist is a popular filter that can be used to take the electronic sharpness out of any video production images. 
This filter is especially popular for interviews and other people shots. The soft FX filter is another type of diffusion filter that diffuses the image. But this filter has the ability to diminish fine details such as blemishes or wrinkles without losing sharpness in the image. This filter is also popular for interviews and other types of people shots. Another type of filter that is popular in both film and video production is the graduated filter. Graduated filters, or grads, are available in a wide variety of colors and densities. One very useful grad filter is the neutral density, or ND grad. In this shot of a hotel exterior, the top of the building and the sky are very bright relative to the exposure of the rest of the image. Through the use of a two-stop ND grad placed at the top of the image, only the sky and the building top are reduced in exposure by two f-stops, which evens out the exposure for the entire image. This golf course clubhouse shot is another example of the use of ND grads. With the interior of the clubhouse lit by two 1200 watt HMI PARs and the camera iris set for a proper exposure of the interior, the window in the shot was approximately four stops overexposed. With the use of two two-stop ND grads for a total of four stops of light reduction, the graduated filters were positioned in the mat box to affect only the window area. With the use of two simple ND grad filters and a carefully composed image, this difficult shot was made possible without the use of neutral density gels on the large window. Color graduated filters provide yet another way to shape your imagery. Probably the most common use of a color grad is the creation of a beautiful sunset from a colorless sky. Tiffin offers a variety of pink, blue, lavender, orange, and other color grads to help you get the most from your exterior locations. This afternoon fishing shot was enhanced by the use of a color graduated filter called a number two twilight grad. Once again, we can see how the simple addition of a filter can change the look and feel of an image. As with the use of lighting instruments and gels and diffusion, the matte box and filters can be looked at as just one more tool for the process of image making.